assalamu alaikum my name is hafsa yasin and today we are here with the continuation of of our last topic so that is the political history of pakistan from the year 1972 to 2003 till 1971 what we have seen that uh, pakistan was separated east pa- west pakistan was separated from the east pakistan and ultimately uh now uh, the leadership was handled towards the pakistan people's party and zulfikar ali bhutto was the one who was who is leading the state now so zulfikar ali bhutto assumed powers on december 20th 1971 after the separation of east pakistan he became the president of pakistan also the first civilian chief martial law administrator the first uh, task was ultimately uh, the formulation of the constitution of pakistan in 1972 an interim constitution was adopted then the parliament of pakistan unanimously adopted 1973 constitution the major policy of mr bhutto was the nationalization his government nationalized the uh, emerald mines in sawat key industries like iron and steel basic metals heavy engineering heavy electrical motor vehicle and tractor heavy and basic chemicals petrochemicals cement gas oil refinery etc life insurance in 1972 ultimately because uh, before uh, zulfikar ali bhutto there was no insurance concept life insurance concept in the state of pakistan it was zulfikar ali bhutto who, who have introduced this insurance policy in the state of pakistan then he introduced the banks uh, system in pakistan he was the one who basically introduced the schools and colleges new university ordinance was issued in 1973 and managing and sub agencies were abolished ultimately each and every department was considered to be as national department and everything was run by the government uh next policies that was introduced by him was labor policy health policy administrative reforms problem of reforms a new labor policy was in, uh, announced in which more rights and concessions were given to the working classes under new health policy cheap medicine and facilities were promised to the masses administrative reforms were introduced to eradicate the corruption in the country and hundreds of civilians were removed on the charges of the corruptions reforms were good ultimately as we can see uh, that uh, uh, from their outlook they are pretty good but as the result were not according to the expectations of the masses uh, discontentment uh, took place of the initial optimism and ultimately uh, we have seen that uh, because of all of this discontentment and ultimately not the proper uh, implementation of the policy uh, it, there was no proper results and when in 1977 pakistan people's party won the elections the joint opposition basically blamed that there was the mass rigging and ultimately the election results are influenced so uh, they have refused to accept the result uh, results and uh, as uh, people's party was uh, pakistan people's party was asked to negotiate they have refused to negotiate negotiate uh, the elected majority party and claim that we were the elected majority party in 1971 so now opposition actually refused to compromise and took cases to the streets urban shopkeeper businessmen students women and even the intelligence see a uh, joint hands against the government and the result was the third martial law and, and end of democracy in the state of pakistan again so in 1977 chief Mar- of army staff general mohammad zaul haq took over and imposed martial law on july 5 1977 he suspended the constitution which was in- implemented and which was introduced by general zaul haq in 1973 and uh, the longest military rule was started in the history of pakistan to just satisfy uh, satisfy his rule uh, general zaul haq presented his agenda 
uh, basically when general general zaul haq took charge he he basically promised that he will help the general elections for to revive the democratic structure within the 90 days but ultimately he didn't fulfill his promise until his death in 1988 so uh, to justify his existence general zaul haq presented the effective administration program uh, where he have introduced the local government system uh, in the pakistan and he claimed that he is going to introduce a system of government uh, which will work and uh, ultimately for the welfare of the people of pakistan he has introduced some policies of islamization according to which uh, he he introduced some uh, restrictions uh, uh, where he introduced the zakat and usher nizam he he has um, uh, introduced uh, the uh, chadar and char diwari ka tahfuz like uh, the uh, the protection within the boundary walls and he has introduced the uh, respect for ramzan ordinance uh, then he basically claimed that he will revive the democracy in the state of pakistan but ultimately as i have already mentioned that he didn't fulfill his promise until his death uh, uh, and the extended period after the reforms the reform include uh, so he basically introduced some reforms for, for the, those reforms accountability of the ousted regimes uh, like the uh, the people who have already uh, ruled over ultimately uh, the accountability of those people that how uh, they were not able to uh, make the state of pakistan uh, uh, basically a progressive state restriction imposed on the political activities and press ultimately he basically imposed all kind of restrictions on the political structure of pakistan the major policies were the islamization shariat benches were established in 1979 federal court shariat court was established in 1981 introduced islamic punishments interest free banking initiated in 1981 on the principle of profit and loss sharing the cash deducted on saving accounts and investments uh, usher was imposed on agricultural prod- uh, products in 1983 and new education policy with islamic character of syllabus along with pakistan studies in islamic compulsory for the classes up to the graduation islamization of mass media uh, prayers break was introduced in the offices and mohalla salat committee were formed to observe the compliance of prayer ordinance pakistan baitul mal was established so to return the democracy he basically introduced a local government system and under which local government system the local bodies elections were held in 1979 uh, so uh, to ex- uh, made his existence uh, democratic he introduced the ref- uh, he basically held the referendum where general zaul haq Uh, uh was elected as the president for the next 5 years and uh, for on december 1984 the referendum was basically held on 9, december 1984 in this referendum the people were asked a question that either you wanted to uh, uh like uh, uh, imp- uh, either you wanted pakistan as a muslim state uh, then you wanted Pak- uh, general zaul haq as your leader or either you wanted uh, you don't want the islam pakistan is an islamic state so you don't want zaul haq as your uh, leader so ultimately uh, most of the people have given vote to the general zaul haq and he was elected as the president of pakistan then he held elections on the non party basis on february 1985 new national assembly was formed and a civilian government was installed revival of the constitutional order was uh, done in march 1985 with the most controversial 18th 8th constitutional amendment the withdrawal of martial law uh, was done in, in december 8th 30th 1895 
so oh, in democracy was restored but no civilian government could complete its uh, tenure of 5 years and became the victims of 58 to be of 8th amendment by which of the president can dissolve national assembly and dismiss the electoral government so uh, the uh, pr- president and prime minister of this era are the following mohammad khan jinejo uh, who was basically the president uh, prime minister of pakistan uh, from 1985 to 1988 benazir bhutto was the prime minister of pakistan from 1988 to 1990 uh, nawaz sharif was the prime minister of pakistan from 1990 to 1993 benazir bhutto was the prime minister of pakistan again then from 1993 to november 1996 nawaz sharif was the prime minister of pakistan from 1997 to october 1999 interim prime ministers uh, uh, who were appointed for holding fair elections were ulam mustafa jatoi august 19 uh, august november 1990 balak sher mazari from april 9 uh, to may 1993 dr muin qureshi from july to october 1993 and malik miraj khalid from november 1996 to february 1997 the president of uh, this era uh, were basically uh, general zaul haq and uh, uh, zulfikar ali bhutto Na- from 1971 to 1977 it was uh, zulfikar ali bhutto who was the president of pakistan and there was no prime minister in this whole tenure from 1977 to 1988 uh, uh, from 1977 to 1988 uh, general zaul haq was the president of pakistan and uh, from 1977 to 1985 there was no prime minister of pakistan either so uh, civilian government uh, when in 1985 the civilian government was adopted the policy for the welfare and the betterment of the people but their effect were compromised due to the several reasons uh, what were those reasons problem of keeping coalition intact ultimately uh because this government was not the civilian government and ultimately it was a it was a rule ruled by the army officer so uh, it was uh, uh, they were not able to coalesce with the political government weak political parties which weaken the government greater confrontation complaint of corruption and misuse of uh, state resources so from 1999 uh, to 2002 in this era in again military rule was imposed against the civilian government's attempt to concentrate power in the office of the prime minister nawaz sharif government introduced political and constitutional changes to have a complete control on all the branches of the government nawaz uh, government's attempt to remove the army chief while he was out of the country and return from his visit to sri lanka proved counterproductive general musharraf took over as the chief executive of the country and suspended the constitutional martial law was not declared no military courts were established political and press freedom remained intact political priorities are uh, done by the general pervez musharraf for the following he basically rebuilded the national confidence and morale strengthened the federation remove inter provincial dis harmony restore national cohesion uh, revival of the economy and restoration of the investors confidence improving law and order situation and dispensation of justice uh, deploy to uh, protest depoliticize the state institutions and devolution of power swift and across the border accountability across the board accountability General Musharraf designed the following policies to achieve the goals of accountability and return of looted wealth of the state. He basically uh, decided to revive the economy through increasing foreign exchange reserves and reducing internal international uh, debt burden through rescheduling. He basically decided to reduce the poverty and social up So General Pervez Musharraf introduced the new local body system delegation of power to the district government in the process of return to democracy the system was basically known as the devolution plan uh, like uh, basic democratic system was introduced by Ayub Khan like local government system was introduced by General Zaul Haq the same local government system was introduced by General Pervez Musharraf 
then he decided to hold the referendum uh, in april 2002 to make his existence legal uh, he introduced the legal framework order uh, to base uh, because uh, the constitution was abrogated and ultimately we need a constitution for the state of pakistan he held the general elections of national and provincial assemblies on 10th of october 2002 and there was the revival of the constitution civil gov- uh, government was formed in the province and the center and ultimately in the new setup of the pushar uh, of uh, is president in uniform amir zafrullah khan jamali was the head of the coalition government in three provinces there are government of muslim league q and in nwfp there is the government of the uh, mma working successfully mutahida majlis e amal that so for, uh, so then there was the gradual consolidation of the democratic rule thank you so much that is it for today see you in next lecture inshallah